So the second exercise that we're going to go over right here is uh, name game exercises. So I'm going to say Bella's name, drag a treat up towards my face, and then click her the moment that she makes eye contact. Bella. Very good. Bella. Very good. You're so smart. Bella. Good. Bella. Very good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my treat hand and drag it out towards the side to trick her to look that way. Bella. Perfect. In the instance that she comes back and makes eye contact, we click her that moment. So again, I'll get my treats, drag them out towards the side. Bella. You're so smart. So I'm going to wait till she's distracted. Bella. Very good, sweetie. We'll do one more of those. I think you got screwed on that one. Here we go. Bella. Very good. So the last of my name game exercises, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop a treat down on the floor. There you go, sweetie. Right there. Bella. Perfect. Say her name and then wait till she turns towards me. Bella. Good. So she really gets in the mode. Bella. Perfect. Uh, when she's distracted with something, interested in something, we call her name. Bella. Turn right back towards you. So on this one, you don't need perfect eye contact. Just want her to look in my direction. Bella. Bella. And um, also when you're giving um, Bella commands, I like to say it a maximum of two times just not to overload the dog. So we'll toss another one on the ground. Bella. Good. So name games are so crucial. Really everything is predicated on that. So as soon as you, um, your pup has a really strong name recognition, then recall becomes really easy and um, your loose leash walking is um, much, much better. And really any, any command that you're going to give them is greatly improved because um, they're going to hone in uh, with excellent name recognition. So very, very good, sweetie.